This is not an optical illusion. The framing crew is here, starting to frame the roof system. If you look closely, that's Raymond over there. He's the one that framed the major project. Yeah, he's here. They're getting started. Wow, can y'all believe it? Look at this. We have a roof going on. This is crazy. All right, well, the guy showed up. Uh, they decided to start with over the top of my office. There's a couple of different ways you can do this. You can take a Simpson bracket and embed it into the top of the concrete uh, to hold the raft coming down. You can uh, make your own bracket. Uh, we ended up, we're putting two by 12 treated all the way around the entire top of the of everything. And then I'm gonna go in and seal that. We put down liquid nails and everything and we use Simpson bolts uh, for concrete. You know, so you drill into the concrete, you run the Simpson bolt, you have an epoxy in there. But that gave us a, you know, made sure it gave us a level base to play off of and everything. And now they're going around and marking everything where the rafter's gonna come down, etc. Love this crew because the guy that runs it, Raymond, uh, in the light blue shirt, he's very much, um, you know, he's thinking all the time about how the load's gonna get carried and all that kind of stuff, which of course is a framer you need to be able to do. Uh, but with my house, it was just uh, hell getting a engineer uh, that would draw it up. It's every excuse in the book, right? And so we had the engineer for the concrete structure. Uh, Hello, falling out with them. Retrospect, we probably could have uh, recovered that relationship, but for reasons I'm not going to go into now on, on this video. But uh, so then, but they didn't want to do the roof either, even before. Which maybe that's a little bit apart. Why I was kind of frustrated, but nobody wanted to draw the roof. And then when you talk to a local engineer, it's well, we only want if we, you know, responsible for the whole thing and blah, blah, blah. Like I said, every excuse. It's a load of crap. Juan just arrived in the background. So as usual, it's all the prep work. That's what matters. Here we are going around, marking where everything's going to be. So when they're up there, not, they're not taking a tape measure and measuring and everything that, you know, makes sense. You pre-mark 16 on center or whatever the case may be, where it needs to go. So that when you're up there, you see he's drilling out the concrete now to run the Simpson bolts in once they start laying out uh, the rafters, you know, that way you have it exactly where you want it, you tap it until you get it there, boom, boom, shoot it in, keep moving. All right, so after all the prep work's done, they got the ladders up and everything, they start nailing up the corners, and there you go. So I shoot that in, guys in the middle. I think that's me. Yeah, I came out to help, look at me. Look at that, huh? Free labor. <laughs> so they go around, they get their, uh, the four sides in, went to the drone. I had the drone flying the whole time. This particular part, there wasn't a lot of interesting drone shots. So I kind of left on here for a few seconds, give you a different angle of what was going on. So you get all that up there, that gives them their starting point. Uh, I wasn't quite sure how this was going to really turn out at first. It was like, you know, it's one of those things you can't always jump right to conclusions. You got to see where it's going to go. And this was interesting to say the least. Now we started with our rafter tail only being 12 inches long. I just didn't like it. It's, you know, it's gonna be traditional, go back to the wall, blah, blah, blah. I just didn't like it. So you'll see in the future videos, cause I'm, man, I don't even know what we're up to now. 16, 20 hours of video. You'll see in the future videos how it turns out. I love it. And Jackie loves it, which is what matters. It's gonna, and the framer loves it. He came up with the idea. You'll see that doesn't make sense what I'm rambling on about right now. But the way the soffits are gonna be are great. We love it, and uh, like I said that's what matters. I think a lot of people love it. There's gonna be people who don't. That's everything. So we don't put the stuff on YouTube for uh, uh, we call validation for sure. <laughs> You can, if you're thinking of starting a YouTube channel, you think you're going to be validated to go on there, you're going to be sorely disappointed, probably. Um, yeah, just keep on building the roof. I mean, that's it. It's uh, put the pieces together and get them in their spot, and that's it. So when this was first going on, I felt like it looked like 
a lower pitch and I think it's lower than the original drawings of the house. Uh, I think this ended up being a 12-12, whereas I'm pretty sure the original was 15-12, but I'm glad it changed it because I never really liked this area. It really bothered me with how it was, so I obviously have the benefit of seeing it done now, and uh, it turns out great, so I think so. Oh, look, pizza party! Look down there at the bottom. So we pretty much try to feed the crews every every day, um, and a lot of that comes back to, you know, I mean, I've been in this industry, not necessarily doing construction, but I've been in, in the construction industry for years, and, you know, it's not fun trying to work, and you're hungry, and, uh, see, so, you know, in the grand scheme of things, it's not a massive, uh, expense, and, you know, your crew will appreciate it, and, you know, we get some bonding time. Get some time to talk about stuff and everything, too. So it's, we kind of rotate now. We got pizza, and uh, then we do a uh, sub day where it's either Subway or uh, Jimmy John's or uh, another one that I can't think of right now. Uh, McDonald's. Yeah, we go kind of around the, around the gamut. So they're framing out. So, hey, boom, it's done, see? So that's kind of where the, the Tom Latcher died that day. So you see in the background that the coming across the uh, portico is done, more or less. Uh, so there's Juan and Enrique. And they're, uh, they're going to build us some more stairs because we got to go up another level. And I'm so glad that we decided to do this because at one point I was like, what are we even going up there for? But Jackie wanted it, so we'll have a walk-up door for the attic. But So our attic space ends up being like 2,000 square feet. It's stupid. Um, and because of a couple other things. So that door's going to come in really hand handy. I expect that we will have a... Uh, uh, we'll use it. That'll probably be future finished space by somebody. So we, it rained. You're going to... I think I already talked about that. So it was raining, which sucks, but uh, so we're gonna build all the way up. So we decided that we're gonna come around and tie that back into the roof. You'll see that. So I did a two by eight walls here uh, because on the left side of your screen, that's gonna go all the way up to the top. So it goes up uh, 20 some feet. And then on the right side, of course it gets broken up. We've got the ceiling there. You know, making notes for when I'm going to do my video on what I would have done differently. But a little quick thing here. I would have probably brought the frame framers by before I decided on these window layouts. I thought I calculated pretty good. And it works out. But that middle window, if that middle window had been higher, not even a lot higher really. Or was it lower? No, it was higher. But it would have been higher. Uh the staircase went ahead to uh, come out. Which basically, we gave up a foot of, of uh, floor space because of my miscalculation. There's another way we could have done it, and we talked about it, but I just left it like it was. It's going to be a pretty cool area, though. The, we, we lost that foot, which isn't a big deal, but we gained uh, that area. We're going to probably gonna end up setting a couple chairs up there, honestly. It's kind of crazy. Um, there's those two by eights they used on Chris's project we got great use out of those that was the best thing I ever bought so I'm standing over where the kitchen is going or the cabinet cabinetry of the kitchen is going and Juan and Enrique are looking at you know how do I want to do the ceiling what's the height all that kind of stuff um because all the area where the cabinets are and everything get the lower ceiling. So you have plenty of light for prep. And then there'll be a vent right over top of where the cooktop's going. So plenty of light for all that. And the rest of it's all just kind of open and should be cool. So they're just bringing all their lumber up so that they can, you know, prep for this next roof that goes over top of what used to be the garage. And is now living space. They're going to pretty much do just like they did for my office 
softwares, you know, they start uh, bringing all their rafters in. They support each other. And then they'll put in some temporary supports. Good to go. I think this is only day one still. Uh, at most, it's day two. They had not brought their loader yet. So they're just kind of handing everything up. It shows up, I think, like day three or four. Bam! Just like that, it's done. No. <laughs> Those pieces are up. There again, man, and I've got extended batteries. These pieces, if you ever see my cameras in a shot, and uh, they last about half the day on time lapse. But uh, we try to change them out, but it doesn't always happen. But yeah, they got that done. You see in the distance the top part of where they uh, ran all the two by eights up for the uh, stair stairwell. Back at it. It's a little later in the day when I'm filming because what's that stuff falling from the sky? Oh yeah, rain, of course. Why? Because I'm trying to do something. Kapow! Look at that big wall. So we side close this side in, which was the original plan. Because when you walk in, there'll be uh, some cubbies and stuff here. So we're doing that. That is close to the last of the... Ah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're supposed to wear a hard hat, right? <laughs> Someone astutely pointed out they saw the different color in the wood. It is still a pine, though. I'm pretty sure. Maybe it's a fir. Maybe that's what it is. It goes to a fir. I have to look back on my sheets. But yes, it's a different color because 24 foot long boards. <clears throat> Originally, it's what we used to frame the A frame over at Chris's. And he basically had it drawn on a napkin, so we just kind of. I had to guess what we needed, so I just ordered a whole unit of them because I knew I was going to need some here. And uh, they've come in really handy. So we've about used them up. So that'll come up there. The roof, the ridge line sits about 18 feet above that beam. Then it'll go off that way. And so you'll see a little bit of the side there. Steps go up here. The landing will come out from straight in, in between those two windows. It'll go boom, and then you have your landing. Boom, up here, and then there's a door here that'll take you into the attic space. That's annoying. <laughs> oh, making your own little walk board. Uh -huh. Woo All right, look at that. Maybe put a couple of nails in it. All right, another day, we're gonna try and set that big, massive set of ridge beams today. It's ridiculous. The roof will be higher than that tower. That's what we gotta set up in the air. All right, so that's all the LVLs. Well, not all of them. See the stack over there, too. Yeah. All right, so what are you doing? Reach. Setting up the ridge? Mm -hmm. All right. So do your... <laughs> so do your setup down here so you're not up in the air trying to get everything ready. See, so they're marking out where all the rafters are going to attach to. So this is the ridge beams and then all these rafters attached to it as well. So it's going to take four of those doing the span for the ridge. All right, so I am in the boom lift. Raymond will be with me. He'll be directing things from up here. They've got their boom truck over there. And that's the line that we're going to that they just put on the ground from there over to uh, basically at the cross piece of steel there. That's where we're going to. They're gonna lift it up in the air. I'm gonna come a little closer. I've still got a good 10 feet I can get closer, plus I haven't extended the boom all the way. And that'll be the ridge beam, which is 18 feet higher than this piece of steel here, which is a little higher than where I'm at right now. So I mean, it's a massive roof through the middle here. Right, that's gonna be helping us, I guess. I have no idea right now. Let's see. Oh, I see. I see. No, let me get to work instead of yapping. We got the drone going, time lapse is going, so should capture all the action. All right, we're almost ready. We got this temporary support, that temporary support. Crane. Yeah, his goes out further than mine. That's gonna be great. Got the uh, ridge beam 
followed by rafters. Wow, huh? How beautiful is that? This is nothing. I wish I could just skip the video and just show y'all what it looks like. It's gonna be well worth the video series because honestly, I've got so much time in videoing and editing and everything. I'm probably gonna have to break this into six, seven, eight videos. I mean, it's gonna be a while, but it's well worth it. There's lots of info, lots of cool stuff. Uh, it had rained, so that color, that's what the floors will actually end up looking like, that darker color, which is much better than what you usually see. But uh, see you in the next one. Coming soon. Thanks.